Hey everyone, and welcome to Isms by Josie. Thank you so much for joining me at Night in the Improv. Give me a like if you are here today. Night at the Improv plays every Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. What the show is, is uh, you guys leave a comment below, um, any word that you can think of, and I'll add it to my spinner, and each week I will spin for the improv word of the night. And I'll base my design on that word. So go ahead, give me a like, and leave a comment below of any word you can think of under the sun. And I'll figure it out every week, Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So let's spin for tonight's word. Okay, after spinning, our improv word for the night is going to be spider, given to us by Conjure Up Nails. Thank you so much for giving us this word for tonight. Give this video a like if you already watch her channel. If you don't, check her channel out. She does fabulous nails. She does snack reviews with her son, and um, her channel is so enjoyable. So I hope that you all um, go, go and check her out. And as usual, to start, I'm going to take my three full coverage soft gel tips by Jellish. And I'm just going to go in and file off these little nubs on the top here off of each nail. And please mind the noises. I have um, laundry running in the background and um the patio door is open so you might hear some nature going on and of course dexter's you know running rampant around the apartment and of course my nail scratchings so for my returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate your visit to my channel every single time um, you know, I do review the night at the improv, um, and I check your live chat, so I appreciate you guys joining in and mingling. Please feel free to, um, mingle up and get to know each other. It's just a, another great way to, um, promote your channel or network, um, and that's all it is. I love this nail community that we have built. I have gained so many relationships around the world and you guys know who you are and um, you know feel free to chat me anytime like you normally do I do fail to mention this over and over again but I do have an Instagram account and a Twitter account so if you need to like DM me or anything um, that's fine too I know some some of you guys I am um, following on your Instagrams and we have our side conversations and that's always great so for my new viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing, share this video, click that like button, leave a comment below, click on that notification bell for future videos, and of course to be reminded about my Night in the Improv every Saturday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm going to just scuff these surfaces up, and per usual, hopefully the... Um, nail doesn't fly out of my hands. <laughs> so now that I have scuffed up the surfaces, let's go and spin that wheel. So after we've spin the wheel, we are using three background colors tonight. So actually, let me just show you already the colors that I had for tonight. Um, I did think that I was going to have the black and the white, and because we're, we have to have three, 
um, colors, I'm going to be including the gray just so that I have both the black, white, and in the middle gray. So I hope that it works out. Okay, so the lacquer that I'm using today is going to be by Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, color Gray Feedy. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to put two coats of this, but we'll see. <laughs> So while that's going to dry, I'm just going to continue with um, the other nails. So now working with gels, I'm going to be applying this uh, Gelish um, Soak Off Gel Polish Color Black Shadow. And then for this last nail here, I'm going to be using again a Gelish Soak Off Gel Polish color Chic White. Okay, so I have my three nails covered, and before I put a top coat on these, I'm going to allow um, this graffiti one to dry, and um, I'm going to be spinning the wheel to see what is my first decoration for tonight. So for the first decoration of the night, we have right off the bat charms, which is exactly what I needed. Um, I'm going to be creating my own charms for you guys, and I'm going to be using the spider gel that I bought. But for these two, I'm definitely going to matte the black and... Something in me wants to matte the white as well. I love how this gray has a shine already without the top coat, so I think I want to actually put a gloss. Oh no! <sighs> Leave a comment below. Let me know what you would do using these spider gels. Would you matte top coat it or would you gloss top coat it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'm just going to take a minute to kind of figure out my life right now. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I've made a decision. <laughs> I am going to matte top it off by Gelish Soak Off Gel Polish. Press that like button if you knew that I was going to matte top coat it. So let's just start with this one. And I am going to nail cleanse this up, get that matte coat to, sh to, to shine through, to come through, because matte coats don't shine. I love it. I love the matte look. I've learned to love it. It's just nice and clean, you know. And then I'm going to do that with this nail. I am going to matte top coat um, the graffiti. I just want to make sure it's a little bit more dry than what it is right now. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to be moving on to the charm making some 
nail form backing. Now, uh, I hope this works. We're going to do some origami here. Okay, I think this is good. Now that I've made these lines a little bit more crisper, I have this guy here. And I'm gonna pray, <laughs> oh gosh, that this comes out right. So I'm just gonna grab my spider gel and I'm gonna show you what, what madness I've got going on. Okay, so I got my spider gel brush, and I'm, I have my reflective spider nail gel here, SA49. This is by Meet Across. Oh, yoy, yoy. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot. This crap's messy. Well, let's just do that then. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to apply this, but I might have to do this like one one or two times. So I'm thinking, you see what I'm thinking? <laughs> so I'm going to try that. I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut like half of it because I can't fit this thing under my lamp. Okay. In, in a much more manageable size. And I've actually tightened the segments by doing that. So now my webbing might be a little smaller, which is what I'm trying to do. I want it to be a good string. So let's just do that. So, the worst is not over. <laughs> I still have to remove this from the shell. And as you see, I have a little overage, but I'm gonna fix that easy by just snipping off that little extra piece. 
So one way I think of doing it is I can just pinch these corners to hopefully free it up and not break it. We will find out once mm -hmm. once I pull off my handmade charm. This is the idea I had in mind. It's so subtle, like I don't even know if you could see it. But like, look at that. Look how cute that's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna end up needing like two magnets. One for each end. I'm gonna stick it on like that. Okay, so we have our charm. That's all. And <laughs> I think it'd be okay with just the one, right? Because if we had this on all three, it'd be a little redundant, I feel. But we'll see. If I change my mind, I change my mind. Because I don't want to clutter it up either. So let's just leave this here. Oh my gosh, it's stuck like surgery okay so let's just leave that there and let's spin the wheel another time um, for the second time to see what else we're working with today Okay, so after we spun the wheel, we have to use um, powders. I have no idea how I'm gonna do these powders. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a chrome powder. Let's just make it like super cool, super metal, and make a chrome powder. We're gonna use Born Pretty Chrome Powder, and I'm gonna do a French tip. So uh, I'm just going to let this dry a little bit more. When I come back, I'm going to matte top coat this nail and then I'm going to um, tape up the French tips. I think I'm going to go for a, uh, a V-shaped French tip and we're going to so chrome I'm powder I'm still that. kind of letting this dry. I mean, mind you, this is only minutes that I'm taking a break. I really should be taking like an hour break or so, but um, I don't, you know... I don't want to take too much time off when I could be doing something. So, <laughs> I'm going to be using this tape to um, this tape to French tip these nails. So I took some clear tape. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And this is just a way to save your tape. I still have that super straight edge. And, um... I'm gonna use it to uh, see now I don't know if I want to take the V all the way down let's just do that and I'm going to apply this On the side cap that tip then I'm going to remove the tape and 
and then I'm gonna cure. Then I'm gonna take that other side of the tape and I'm going to try to make it even steven. Okay, so now I'm going to take these nails and I'm going to um, rub these, rub this uh, chrome powder on it. Look how different each one of those is to each other. I don't even know how I'm going to hold this thing. Look how different they all are. I really like this against the gray. It's so dark against the black, which you think is like really nice chrome. But look how it is against that gray. That is real shiny chrome. Okay, so I'm going to spin the wheel again and see what the final decoration is going to be. Spinning for the last time, we ended up getting striping tape, which is my old time arch nemesis because I never know what I'm going to do with it. In fact, I have like a whole stack of striping tape and I don't know what to do with it and I've rarely used it. Um, I did do a short using striping tape. Uh, maybe if I remember I'll leave it in the cards. So I'll put the striping tape on the, um, the sides.
so now I'm going to put a top coat over both the chrome and the nail striping sticker. So I'm going to put on this webbing charm that I made and to do that I'm going to be using these tiny magnets and I'm going to need four pieces because I'm going to Um, do two ends and stick it on there. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to place it where I need it. I just have to get close enough so I can touch the light. And I think I accidentally, okay. So now I've placed the part that we had just cured. Um, just eyeballing how much I need it for a part. So I'm going to apply some rhinestone glue and attach it to this magnet. And now I just have to stick the magnets on to the nail. So I'm going to do the first one. do is I'm going to connect this Okay. So then I'm going to 
work on this. Um, I think for this nail, I'm going to paint on a happy spider. Actually, let's do this one because I think for this nail I'm going to be doing the spider gel. the last nail. I'm going to do this right here. So I'm going to take this reflective spider gel. Okay, you guys, so this is the end result. My spider nails given to us by Conjure Up Nails. Thank you so much for this word for tonight. Click that like button. It really helps me out. Click that like button if you like this design. Leave a comment below. 
And thank you so much for joining me again at Night at the Improv every Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Leave a comment below. Leave your word down for me to add to my spinner. And it will select uh, the word for next week's design. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you don't miss another episode. I think these were really fun and cute. I can't believe I did this like a 3D spider web using the silver um, spider gel. I think it works really great against the black matte. And then I have my nice cute and glossy Mr. Spider on this nail. And I have my orange spider gel on this one. I think the colors work so great in that chrome on the white. It looks so unique compared to the black. And of course, on top of the gray. I do think, though, that the the chrome on top of the gray was really close to chrome as you can get it. It's very nice and shiny. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate you taking your time out to watch this fun and exciting show of Night at the Improv. I really enjoyed doing these. This is Isms by Josie. Please share a like and subscribe for future videos. And join me again this weekend. I'm doing my short and sweet every other week. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.